I love the old classic cars. Whenever there's a car show, I love to go see it. They bring back memories, and I love to see those old uh, vehicles. Well, there are classic Bible verses uh, that we need to know as well. They not only bring back memories, but they speak into our days and into our lives today. So today we're going to speak about one of those classic Bible verses. Welcome to Encouraging Word of Brief, Daily Word of Encouragement from the Bible. I'm Dave. I'm in Killarney, Manitoba. Really appreciate the fact that you've taken time to be with us today. You know, from my youngest days, I remember people quoting this verse. It speaks about God's plan for our lives and our need to trust Him uh, when God guides us. Here it is. It's Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your path straight. I said, uh, that's a classic, but we need to break it down a bit. You know, we all want God to guide us throughout our days. We want God to guide us to do the right, uh, guide us to avoid the wrong. Uh, God has a path for us to walk on. We want to follow that path. Um, but the challenge is that we need to trust him and stop trying to figure things out in our own understanding, in our own minds. We don't know everything. We don't have insight into all things, but God does. And the sooner we learn to stop trying to figure everything out uh, and, and trying to go our own way, uh, the sooner we can get to the place where he can guide us and direct our steps with a word, with an insight, with a thought. Um, in all your ways. Uh, there are some things that we're pretty knowledgeable about. God wants us to use our intelligence and wants to use the wisdom that we've gained through life. Uh, there's no question about that. But we must be quick to yield to God's plan in all our ways, not just the so-called spiritual areas of life, but our education, our jobs, our health, our finances, our kids, our relationships. In all of our ways, we need to submit to God and yield to him only then can he direct our steps. In Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21, God says, whether you turn to the right or the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. This is what all of us want. We want to be able to hear God's voice and God's direction, but that becomes uncertain and it becomes confusing when we don't surrender to God. We begin to confuse God's voice with my voice, the voice of the world, the voice of Satan, uh, the voices that come at us every day through various medias and, and various forms in which we, we constantly are hearing messages. What am I hearing? We begin to ask the question, what is God wanting for me? So when we surrender all our ways to God, his voice becomes clear and we become, can become directed by him. And of course, we know the psalmist said, your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. When we know the word, uh, when we surrender our ways to God, then being led by the Spirit is much, much easier. Is there an area of your life right now where you're holding back and you're holding on to your ways, your understanding of how things go? You don't really want to surrender to God? Let me just encourage you to surrender to God in every area of your life. And then God's uh, plan and God's direction will be very clear to you and you will receive God's insight. And we all want that. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you, God, that you desire to guide us and direct our steps. You don't leave us here to kind of wander through life and find our own path. But God, you said that if we would follow you, if we would yield to you, you would direct our steps. You would direct our path. You would guide us. Your word helps us do that. The listening to the spirit of God helps us do that. So Father, I pray for your people today, God, that we would surrender every area of life. Lord, that one area that we're holding back on, on. Lord, I pray that today this will be a day of surrender to you, and we give it to you, we yield it to you, we submit to you, and we ask you to guide us and direct our steps. We give you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, thanks so much for taking time to watch God Willie. I'll be back tomorrow with another word of encouragement. I should have a great day. God bless. Have fun.